Shalom, Mabuhai, and blessings to you all. Uh, I want to start out by saying that I am kicking off a membership drive. Now, obviously, as you can tell from my stats, I'm going to need a lot more members and a lot more watching hours if I'm going to monetize this site. But first things first. I need to get up to 100 subscribers so that I can get a customized URL uh, in order to help with marketing. So, my next video is going to include a personal shout-out to whoever becomes my 100th subscriber. So tell your friends, tell your family, and please subscribe. Now, what I really wanted to talk about is, I realize this is really kind of late because Dan passed away at the end of March, but I really wanted to make a video honoring Dan Celia. Uh, Dan was the host of Financial Issues, and that was a, a Christian radio call-in show. Uh, I discovered Dan on some podunk radio station in western Massachusetts. Uh, I could barely get a clear signal, but what I was able to hear, I really loved. You see, Dan went beyond the basics of personal finance, you know, getting out of debt and, and having an emergency fund. And those things are great, and you should do all of those things. But Dan took it further. Dan explained what was happening at the macro level, what the Fed was doing, what the Treasury was doing, what Congress was doing. And then he connected it down to the individual level. Basically, Dan explained how all of those entities were harming us, and exactly how they were harming us. Yes, it was pretty gloomy, but it was real. Actually, it was so real that I suspect it even got to Dan a few times. I mean, when Dan got off on a rant, it was a thing of beauty to behold. It was through Dan Celia that I learned about biblically responsible investing. And this means not investing in companies that do work that dishonors God. Basically, companies whose core competencies include pumping drugs and pornography into people's homes. So for those who practice biblical investing, sorry, it means that you don't own shares of Facebook or Apple or Google or Netflix or all those sexy companies. You, know, you own shares of Caterpillar, ADM, International Paper, which, by the way, are profitable. As Christians, we need to honor God with our money, but that doesn't just mean our giving. It also means how we spend our money. And yes, we need to honor God in the way we invest our money. But what I, what I will remember most fondly about Dan, Celia, is his humility. If I had a dollar for every time somebody called into his show and started talking about the Iraqi dinar and how it was going to be a huge moneymaker, well, I wouldn't need this side hustle, that's for sure. But each and every time somebody called into Dan to talk about this complete hoax, this complete scam, Dan patiently explained to every one of them why they should stay as far away as possible from it. Uh, Dan was a uniquely humble character. Uh, he was not arrogant at all, unlike some other financial counselors, unlike some other Christian financial counselors, unlike some other Christian financial counselors on the radio, unlike some other bald financial Christian counselors on the radio, if you know what I'm talking about. But we won't go there. Sadly, Dan contracted COVID at the beginning of the year, and at the end of March, the Lord call, called him home. And while we can mourn Dan's passing, we can find some comfort in the fact that Dan is no longer in pain, and he's not going to have to live through the inevitable persecutions that the Christians of this world are going to endure, probably sooner rather than later, but that, again, is another video. We can also find some hope that Dan left behind a very capable and a very dedicated team to carry on the ministry that the Lord entrusted him with. I want to encourage you to check out FISM.TV 
or check out financialissues.org if you want to learn more about Dan Celia, learn more about biblical investing, and also check out all the other shows that FISM has to offer. Uh, so thank you, Dan, for your dedication and education of the Lord's people. And as always, thank you all for watching. If there is a next time, I'll see you then.